Welcome to Blending with Henry featuring expression blending. Express your inner being, personality, and style through the food that you blend. Hey you guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Blending with Henry show. My name is Henry. You're just about that beautiful new Vitamix. You bought a bunch of ingredients. You load it up and what happens? It doesn't blend. <laughs> Well, you're not alone. In fact, it's happened to me the first time. So that's why I created this series called Vitamix 101 How To Dot Dot Dot. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect fruit smoothie. So if you guys are ready, then let's get blended with Henry. My own recipe. I call it the perfect fruit smoothie. Now made with summer harvested tropical fruits, berries and cherries, sweetened with chewy dates and a punch of flavor from natural juice. There's no dairy here. It's just perfect. To make the perfect fruit smoothie, I'm using the amazing Vitamix Ascent Series A3500. So the first thing you want to do is start off adding liquids. This helps the blades pull the ingredients downwards for efficient blending. Now I'm using one and a quarter cup of liquid, half orange juice and half almond milk. At the smoothie shops, they're adding dairy-based flavored sherbet, you guys, as a filler in place of whole fruit to keep the cost down. <laughs> Next, I'm adding two cups of frozen mixed fruit of berries, cherries, and tropical fruit. It's important to have the correct ratio of fruit to liquid so your smoothie won't turn out too thin like a juice or too thick like a frozen dessert. Now this is already starting to look good and it's not even done yet. <laughs> For this recipe, I'm adding six pitted dates. They serve two purposes. They sweeten the smoothie in a healthy way and give it a little extra texture. If you use liquid sweeteners, you will need to adjust the recipe. Okay, I'm going to snap my lid in place here. And I'm going to show you guys the proper blending time. Now, the Vitamix A3500 has a touchscreen preset smoothie cycle. It runs for 50 seconds, as you can see here. Now, the perfect fruit smoothie requires only 40 seconds, so I'm going to use the programmable timer touching the plus and minus buttons until I reach 40 seconds. Now we're ready to blend. Well, first I'm going to go ahead and touch the start button, and then I'm going to ramp it up to the highest speed. Okay, that looks amazing. Now give me a few seconds, you guys. I'm going to set up the counter so I can pour up our perfect fruit smoothie. I'll be right back. Now this is how your smoothie should turn out. Thick and smooth. Now you can improvise, you guys. You can add whole lime to the mix and use pineapple juice rather than orange juice. As long as you love it. Oops, let me wipe that up, because you guys know my motto, presentation is everything. Now I'm garnishing it with some fresh strawberries, fresh pineapple, fresh blueberries, and these sweet cherries. Now I'm adding a couple of festive straws to match the colors in the garnish. And when serving to a guest, you guys, garnishing your smoothies gives your guests an idea of what's actually in the smoothie. Presenting the perfect fruit smoothie by Blending with Henry. You've got to try it. It doesn't blend. <laughs> and that's why I messed up. Okay. It doesn't blend. <laughs> and the th oh, God. <laughs> And remember you guys to check out the all new Vitamix Ascent Series A3500 and you can order it directly on Vitamix.com through Blending with Henry. And if you have any questions about it, please drop me a line.
Alright you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you're enjoying my Vitamix 101 how-to series. Please remember to visit me at BlendingWithHenry.com. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest, so I'm all over the place you guys and I'll see you all next time.